Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we have this general strike coming up and I shouldn't have promised them this. It's uh, not possible, I don't think, for us to get that passed, at least not at this exact moment. We'll see if we get the ability to do it, but for right now, that's not going to be a thing. We do need to work on our, on our buildings here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to ditch our subsidies on the railways. We're going to move that over to being publicly traded and we're going to put we're going to leave them on electric trains but we're going to move them to cargo prioritization just to bump up our our uh, infrastructure here and we'll check to see how we're doing on infrastructure in a bit we'll let that settle in but we're going to need to work on quite a lot of our electric generation we know that our electric generation is not great, and we're going to take all of these up to economy of scale caps of 51. So we're just going to put this at, that was, yeah, that's the correct number. Something along the lines of this. Basically, that's more than we need, isn't it? We needed 20 for that, okay. So if we go back into our power plants here, we need to take this up to, 42. No, that puts us at 49. 44. Okay, so that's a bunch of power plants queued up. We're at minus 700k here. Uh, about 1 million. Our economy will start to recover as we work our way through this. We do have some unproductive trade routes, and we'll go ahead and get rid of any of these that are unproductive. Okay, there we go. There's a couple more that are unproductive. So we're going to need to start turning around our finances, right? The primary benefit here is that we're going to get our, our our construction goods paused and we'll be positive at that point. So I'm not too, too concerned about that. Checking in here, we don't have any additional consumption taxes that we can put in. We're on max taxation for now. Our GDP is ridiculous, but that will start to recover over time. There's just a lot of turmoil right now, no doubt about that. I want to make sure we're on auto-expand for all of these. Uh, power plants should absolutely be on auto-expand. So should War Machine Industries. Cool. Okay, so what's our primary cost at this moment? Well, construction goods. Our primary cost in the construction goods is steel. And yeah, steel and paper are our biggest costs. So... I'm going to do something about that. We are going to, in our industry, we're going to go into our steel mills. And any of these that are not at the economy of scale cap, we'll go ahead and put there. So eight here, we would need nine. Actually, we need 10 here. I'm going to build 10 here. That brings us to 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And I'm queuing these up at the bottom of the queue, for the record. Uh, this is going to need seven. We've got enough in a sum. I want to sort by number here. Okay, so we're going to need 2 to bring us to 40, 50, 51. 4 to bring us to 40, 50, 51. So that's 31 right there, 41, 51. So we're going to need, let's see here, 25. We need 26. Okay, we need 31 here. We're going to need 2 to bring us to 21, and then 30 additional. This has enough queued up, and then we need 50 here beautiful. So that'll be fine. We're also going to work on paper mills. So any of these that are not at the economy of scale cap, we're going to bring up. So something like this, and that puts us at 45. I'm just going to take it to 55. That puts us at 42, 52. And then that puts us at 30, 31. So something like that. Okay. So we've got a lot queued up here. No doubt about that. We're going to need to get our economy turned around, and that's going to take some time. Actually, we did just jump up to 50 million. Cool. So that's an improvement, for sure. We have insufficient taxation capacity, and I do want to deal with that. We'll put that in at the top of the queue. And we definitely need to produce a bunch of electricity, a bunch of paper. We have some unproductive trade routes here, which is not surprising as our trade routes continue to grow. Cool. And our market access is non-perfect. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. That's not shocking either. For the moment, I'm not too concerned about that. I want to see here. Yeah, we're losing cash. That's not shocking. 
electricity and engines are expensive. So we really should also work on engines. I feel like engines are a higher priority. So we'll take these up to economy of scale caps as well. So I'm going to put in something along the lines of this. So that puts us at 21, something like that. And then we'll just put in, say, 35 here. That'll be okay. And then this will need to be something like that. Okay. So this will need to be 50. This will need to be something like 46. Right. That's correct. 46 here. This is going to need to be 36. 36. And then this goes to 21. Like that. Okay. So that, I feel like engines are a higher priority for us than are certainly the paper productions. Yeah, we're just going to move the paper productions down and we can tick forward at this point. Now, if we need to pause construction at some point, we can. But we are constructing this very quickly. And we're just going to move those down. The motor industries are certainly a higher priority than the paper mills. Are they also a higher priority than the steel mills? I think so, because of market access. Keeping the cost of our railways low is very important. So we're going to move down the steel mills as well. But we do want to get these constructed eventually. And there's a lot of them. No doubt about that. There's definitely a lot of them. So eventually we'll get these all moved. And I'm not too concerned about moving the uh, paper mills. I'm a little concerned about that general strike. I don't feel like there's much we can do about it, though. I really don't feel like there's much we can do about the general strike unfortunately. So we'll do something like this for the time being. Our GDP is recovering. That's for sure. Let's take this up to page one here. Two weeks on that government administration. Okay, that's not going to do the... That, that's not going to be the biggest of deals. Against the odds. What is this? Hmm. They fairly earned their success with all it entails. Okay. So we need to think about trying to pass... Trying to pass, not right of assembly. Um, what was it that we wanted to pass here? We wanted to pass regulatory bodies. There's no chance for it right now. We need the trade unions to be empowered. So with that in mind, we would need to bolster the trade unions, which we can't do. For the time being, I think we just have to proceed. This strike may well happen. As long as we're in a better economic situation when it does, it might be okay. Fingers crossed on that one. But our GDP is definitely recovering. We're number nine worldwide we're, with us being a great power. Okay, and that's fine. We can continue, continue to work on that. I'd like to start taking some of these areas from Great Britain eventually, but our economy definitely needs to recover for that to happen. No doubt about that. We're having our first round of power plants finishing up here in two weeks. So that'll be good. Do we have any other unproductive trade routes? Yes, we do. We'll get rid of those. The U.S. wants a trade agreement. We accept. That put us briefly positive, and then it went back negative. That was interesting. Okay. Cool. So these power plants are finishing up, and we're now having the power plants trickle in at this point. A lot of these are going to be finishing up in 28 weeks, right? And we're working on the motor industries as well. We have 111 weeks on our total construction queue. Food industries should auto-expand, as should glassworks. Any new glassworks that were made should auto-expand. Cool. What's substantially less cool 
is our current finances. Market access being low is a big problem. So if we look at these railways, the biggest issue is that they simply don't have any money. In this particular situation, they may not be actually hiring people. That is understood down here. So in this situation, yeah, we can see they're losing money, and that's primarily due to the cost of engines and electricity. The electricity cost has largely gotten under control, and that will continue to get under control. We're going to finish up a good chunk of motor industries in about 15 weeks, so that will start dropping the price of engines. I do want to check in. Okay, these are currently unproductive, sure. It's not shocking that a lot of these are unproductive as they grow, to be clear. This strike is concerning. Is there anything at all we can do about it? I don't see a way to get the trade unions into government without being illegitimate. Making our way up to unacceptable would require bare minimum being at this level of taxes which is not an option at this moment. Okay. So our power plants are continuing here. And eventually, they'll finish up. About 15 weeks on that. And Motor Industries, our first round of those are going to be done in seven. When are we going to run out of finances? We've got some time. Okay. Okay. So for the moment, that's looking reasonable. Motor industries are going to be done in about six weeks in Delhi here, and then a big round of them in ten weeks. Yeah. So that's looking okay. That should help our situation here. Our GDP is definitely recovering. It's not recovered, but it's recovering. Cool. So we'll be completely done with our big power plant push in what 10 weeks 10 weeks and the price of engines is going to begin dropping now i want to check in here what are we at for our automobile production we are currently on automobile production i feel like we should switch to prioritize engine production and then switch this one over to automobile production we can switch another if we have a shortage of automobiles i don't think we will that should help our engine price right there. So if we check here. Oh yeah, that tanked the engine price. Beautiful. We're still going to build all these motor industries. They don't have to hire up to full. So that'll be fine. We'll get that all completed. Power plants will be done. And that means that we should be doing reasonably well in most of our railways. Yeah, we'll have to see how we're actually doing in terms of our infrastructure here. Places like Indian or Risa, this is grim over here. Where even is this? This is up over this way. Okay. Noted. So yeah, that's right here. So what's our major problem here? Power is expensive here. This railway is one we could subsidize, though. That's barely costing us anything. So let's go ahead and do that for now. And that should help that market access. We don't have to subsidize all railways. Although we could. How much would it cost us to subsidize railways at this moment? And I'm not going to automatically expand them. About 900k? That may be worthwhile. And yeah, we do have all of these trade routes being unproductive. As we get our production online, that's not surprising. Concrete fortifications. Finish up. Okay. So what do we need now? Like, macroeconomics? We're not making much from minting. So, perhaps if we were to do, like, 
compression ignition or oil turbines? I don't think any of that's actually helpful. Flamethrowers? I don't think that's helpful either. Uh, mass surveillance? Not great. What would we really need here? We have almost all of the technologies. I guess we'll just go for a production. Seems fine. So we're continuing to construct. We would be negative without our construction stone. That isn't great, but that's because we're paying 1.85 million in our subsidies. So that does mean that subsidizing the railways is likely not worth it. So we're going to drop off that subsidization, and we'll have to do that on a case-by-case -case basis, I guess. So as we go through here, we can check in on these. So Orissa, we know for a fact that this, we're okay with subsidizing. Indian Pegu will subsidize. And we're going to subsidize any of these that are currently negative in their infrastructure. We're not going to subsidize any of the others. And we'll need to address that again later on. So that means we're paying about 70k in subsidies now. That's not too bad. Okay. That seems reasonably fine. So, we know that motor industries aren't the biggest of deals right now, but I would like to just get them finished up. The paper mills, this is a lot of them, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to cancel any of them that are beyond here. Any of the motor industries, specifically. So, this is changing over to a different location. So, we're just canceling any of these that are currently queued up. We don't need additional motor industries, I'm quite certain of this. Not right now, anyway. Okay, so checking in. Chemical Warfare has been unlocked. Checking in on our infrastructure situations here. Yeah, this is just going to hire in. That'll be fine. Cool. So we'll need to reevaluate that by turning off our subsidies later on. But for now, it seems okay. We're almost back up to 300 million in GDP. Solid. Language in the classroom, huh? Uh, let's get the assimilation, thanks. Resolving the strike is going to be very difficult. We can check in on this and see if there's anything we can do. I highly doubt it. Not without getting a movement here, anyway. Because, yeah, if we bring in the trade unions in any combination here... Any combination, I'm pretty sure, keeps us at an illegitimate government, and that's non-great. So, this is kind of the best we can do right now. But hey, we're at minus 600k now. That's a big improvement. I like it. Our economy is definitely recovering. We have these paper mills being built. And these engines are going to finish up fairly soon, actually. We have under a year on our construction queue. That's looking solid. We do still have some market access issues here. I'm guessing these are locations where we simply cannot employ enough people in our railways. Yeah, most likely. That's almost certainly what's going on there. Cool. So locations like Arisa... This is the location that we are subsidizing this railway. Unable to fully hire due to qualifications. Okay, sure, but at least there's some people there. <laughs> That's helpful. So 500k, we do have a few weeks left that we can do this. Motor industries are going to all be finished up quite soon. They're all on this page, so... 13 weeks is the maximum amount on motor industries. And then we're going to be working on paper mills. Those will be finishing up at that same time. We're going to have a big chunk of paper mills finishing up then. We're also working on steel mills. So this is all building simultaneously. Beautiful. That looks great. So our motor industries are almost done. And we're seeing our GDP continue to climb up. Continue to recover. This is looking good. 
Less good is the general strike, but we're hoping that at least our economy is in a reasonable state at that point. We would absolutely love to implement the law that they want us to implement. I just don't think it's physically possible at this moment. This is a promise we shouldn't have made, to be clear. Production methods for our various farms and our chemical plants. We're definitely going to switch down to nitrogen fixation process. And in our farms, we will switch to chemical fertilizers. Beautiful. And we'll see what that does in terms of our expensive goods. We do have a bunch of unproductive trade routes, and we will get rid of those. In fact, only three? Only three. Okay, cool. Taxation capacity in a couple of locations needs to be worked on. And that is something we will queue up at the top of the list. Beautiful. Motor industries are now four weeks away from being fully complete. And then we're going to start getting paper mills the week after that. Excellent. I love it. Enact interventionism political movement. Who all is in support of this? Industrialists, rural folk, trade unions, and petite bourgeoisie. Do we want this? Not really. It's not super ideal. But if it's something that the trade unions endorse, and something that the landowners do not, that might allow us to switch around our government's legitimacy. Let's do it, but we're not necessarily super happy about it. We would much rather go to something like laissez-faire. But let's go ahead and do that for now. So our paper mills are going to start coming in this week. Beautiful. There's our first paper mill coming online. And we're going to get a bunch of these finished up every week now. Until they are all done in four weeks. That is not very many weeks. Cool. Do we have auto queues going on out here? No, this is all just steel mills. Okay, we've got a lot of steel mills queued up. And that's for good reason. Steel is very, very expensive right now. So, that's looking good. Our paper costs should start to drop. And it looks like they indeed are. Excellent. We're currently at 317k here. I love it. Our paper mills are all done. Now we're starting to finish up our steel mills, and we're going, going to get a big chunk of them every week, it looks like. Yeah. So our, our cost of steel is going to begin to plummet. It's currently not super high. So that looks good. We'll see about interventionism and how much that actually helps us. We're close to turning a profit at this point. And we absolutely would be turning a profit if we weren't constructing. So we're going to let our construction queue finish up here. I'm not going to queue up additional things for the moment. This is getting really close to turning around, and dropping a little bit of construction would do the trick. We're building almost all of these at the same time right now. Eight pages of them. Okay. Cool. So this government administration will finish up. How are we doing on market access? It's not perfect. And we have a couple of unproductive trade routes that we will get rid of that uh, recalculated when we got rid of that one. Okay, there we go. Couple of unproductive trade routes there. Cool. Okay, so out of curiosity, what options do we have here? Basically none is the answer. Hopefully once interventionism goes through. All of these guys are now happy, and they're moving up to influential as well. So that's fine. Once our economy gets fixed, I would like to get our army to... Oh my, Britain is looking weak. Okay, that looks really good. I would like to start taking some of this territory over. We don't have much time left in this game, though. So we'll see what we end up getting to. 
Our GDP is back up to 374 million now. That's a solid improvement. The real question is... How much are we paying in interest? 143k? Okay. We're really close to being able to just construct at will. I like it. Also, our literacy is up to 45.8%. That's solid. We've got a lot of radicals. That's unsurprising. Very, very unsurprising. Our standard of living has remained surprisingly steady. I really would have expected it to drop during all of this, but it hasn't. And that's a good sign. Are we starting to use up all of our construction? Oh, Russia wants a trade agreement? Sure. Are we starting to use up all of our construction? Not quite. We're very, very close on that. After this week, we should. Bureaucratic imbroglio, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Bad roll there on interventionism, but it seems okay. Knowledge of radio is spreading to us. Cool. And hey, we're positive. Let's see if that lasts. It is going to last because we are reducing our amount of construction. So that's fair enough. I like it. So all of these steel mills are going to be done when? In like 20 weeks as the maximum? Yeah, that looks good. That looks, that looks, looks very good. We're going to have our finances positive and we're just going to spend down our debt here. And that's just going to keep getting better and better and better. With that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next episode, we're going to spend down our debt and hopefully think about maybe attacking Britain. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Ro Corvid, Kintogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Anna the Elephant, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.